Divine Word University has come a long way since its inception as a university in 1996. President Father Philip Gibbs says the university has developed rapidly with new programs and becoming a world-class institute of higher learning. The university has also increased in student and staff numbers. The university contributes to health services, including rural health, but in recent years, seeing the great need for health services, and with little over 500 medical doctors in the country, the university has taken to preparing medical doctors, and we graduated the first cohort earlier this year. We welcome Parliament's recent passage of the Medical Registration Amendment Bill, which has helped to open the way for registration of our graduates to serve people's needs throughout the country. Our DWU University Charter calls for the establishment of an institute of higher learning whose objective is the conservation, extension and diffusion of knowledge by means of its schools, faculties and other resources thereby promoting primarily the development of students as creative, intellectual persons in a religious environment. Divine Word University DY Enterprise has purchased the department's high-tech cameras, recorders, including television for its journalism students. I note that DY Enterprise Limited managed to purchase the new air conditioning system for the TV and radio equipment rooms, including the latest cameras and computers for the faculty. We'll see when we tour the, the, the new building. Finance Minister Sir John Pundari congratulates the Divine Word for another milestone achievement through a government partnership with Divine Word. Sir Pundari says public money given to any organization should be used wisely with accountability. He thanked Divine Word for using the money given by the national government to the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology to build a new complex for the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. But the fact that in your speech you have reminded us of the ethical use of public money that belongs to the people of Papua New Guinea has to be spent wisely, has to be used accountably and as your Minister for Transport, I really do appreciate the fact that I come here to witness a great example of ethical use of our people's money and for the people and for the future, for their development needs and what more than a project here at the Environment University. Thank you, President. The minister also presented two million kina to Divine Word President Father Philip Gibbs, Masalubis National and TV News, Medeng.